CV. A CV is the same as curriculum vitae. It is a type of document that helps to describe a person. Uh, whenever you want to talk about yourself to an employer or any person uh, whom you think uh, he or she wants uh, to know about your details, then you can present your details in the form of a CV. So first and foremost, we're going to launch Microsoft Word. As you can see here, Microsoft Word uh, is launched. So I'm going to go ahead and create a blank document. When I create a blank document, you see an interface that look like this. On top, uh, I have the uh, ribbon with a lot of tabs. And then I have the quick access toolbars. And then I have the workspace. So whenever I want to come up with a CV, uh, there's already available temp templates online that you can use, which are free of charge. So you don't have to hustle. Uh, you can use one of the templates available so that you can edit and feed in your own information. So when you launch Microsoft Word, uh, I want you to go and select one of the tabs in the ribbon. And that is File tab. So go and select File tab. And then from uh, that, you get a list of options. Uh, of course, we have the two layouts. The first layout gives you uh, a list of uh, buttons that you can uh, choose among. Then we have also the uh, recent documents or the recent files. And then we have some of the uh, templates available. So I want you to go and select the new, ta the new button here uh, after home. Then from there, uh, when you click uh, select that, you get now this, uh, this layout. Uh, on this layout, we have the sample templates. We have the sample templates. But then when you look at these templates, we don't have any which represent a CV. So uh, you can go ahead and be, uh, select uh, the search, search bar where they're telling you to type or to search for online templates. So when you click on that, I want you to type their CV. So when you type their CV and then you search, Microsoft will help you to uh, search for uh, online templates that represent a CV. And then from there, you can choose any of them. So uh, go ahead and press enter. So when you press enter, you get a list of uh, available templates that you can select any of them. And then from there, uh, for example, I want to select this. Uh, when you click on that, you get a pop-up as a window will pop up on the screen. And then from there, you can go ahead and click on this uh, create button. When you select create button, uh, the document or the CV will have to uh, now be presenting your word processor. So in your word processor, I have my CV, but now what I have to do, I have to go ahead and modify with my own information. So whenever you are coming up with a CV, what you need to know is that uh, a CV ha has a structure in which it is supposed to be uh, presented. It has the way it's supposed to be presented. First and foremost, the many features that make up a CV, you need to uh, have uh, what we call uh, the personal details. You need to have uh, the objective. Uh, then the your sk the skills uh, the the skills and the experiences you need to uh, have uh, education background like what is your profession and then you need to have your uh, leadership skills and then from there once you have all that you can now go ahead and modify your CV and then uh, make it look nice like uh, first you have to start with a name. Like you see here, the name here is the uh, Chela Apalili. Uh, you have to put your name here. You need to put your website and the email address. And then from there, uh, you need to also attach a passport photo uh, if uh, need be. And then from there, go ahead and put your objective. What is your ob uh, personal objective? Uh, is the objective related to maybe the organization you are uh, trying to apply a job to? Like, for example, if your objective is to engage content for 
diverse audience or seeking a challenging position to leverage creativity, communication skills, and passion for beauty to inspire and educate leaders, then uh, this is your personal objective, then at least should be related uh, to an organization, to um, main objectives of an organization that you're applying, that you're getting a job to, so that whenever you are given this job, uh, you will work hard because you will be in line with your objective. Uh, then from there, you need to also talk about your experiences. The experiences here, uh, you talk about the uh, past jobs, what have you done in the past, like the jobs, uh, the jobs you have already done and other innovations that you've done. You all talk about that here. And then you talk about the skills, what can you do? Uh, skills, do you have skills in writing? Uh, do you have skills in any thing maybe like, uh, can you do uh, any kind of innovation? Uh, do you have skills in maybe drawing? Do you have skills in editing, video editing, or any, any skill that you have that you think an employer need to know to have to uh, put it here in the skills? And then at the education background, you have, here you have to put all your education, like in all your levels of education and the certifications you have, uh, all the education background that if it is bachelor's, if it is master's degree, it is a certification, you have to include it all here. Uh, then sometimes uh, you need to also to include uh, the leadership experience uh, if uh, you're going to hold a position that involves uh, uh, leading other people uh, or having a team of people that you're going to lead, then you need to put at least um, a leadership experience so that uh, the employer know, knows that, hey, this person at least have this kind of uh, skills in, when it comes to leadership. Then at the end of the day, you have to, of course, put your phone number and then your email address because the employer need to contact you. Uh, they can contact you either by the phone number or by email address. So when you put all this, uh, normally uh, you can make it in one page uh, so that the, it does not look so uh, big or challenging. All your information can be represented in this uh, si uh, si single page. And the, after doing all this, you put your objective, you put your experience, your education, your skills and your personal contacts and everything is available, then uh, there you are, you are, uh, you are ready to go. So if I can, uh, for example, bring another uh, template, uh, let, let me see how another template can be. Uh, so I'll go ahead and select a new, uh, a new uh, template. I can use this template here. So when you look at this template, it also, uh, represent the same thing I've been talking. Here you have to talk about your personal details, like your name, the the, uh, the phone number, the email address, and then uh, you, we have the uh, the address, I mean the, the website, this is the website, and uh, we have the email address, we have the phone number, and then we have the state where you're coming from, and then here you have the name. So these five things are very, very important because any person must have a name. And then you need to have the address where you come from. You need to have the phone number so that uh, they can contact you. And then you need to have an email address. In most cases, uh, com companies prefer uh, employees who already have experience in the use of mails. Uh, so by you having an email address, you are already telling the employer that, hey, uh, I already have the skill in using email because this is the main uh, tool that will be used in communication. Uh, so you need to also have a website. This is not so much necessary. It's not compulsory, but if you have, it is an added advantage because that one will show that, uh, hey, you already, you are online and the, an employer can go ahead and uh, uh, open your website and learn more about you. So if you have a website, it is added advantage. Uh, but if you don't have a website, uh, this other information can help to identify yourself. And then you can also uh, provide the uh, passport photo uh, to also easily identify you, like, you know, 
uh, try to say who you are.